My brothers and sisters, we commenced the recitation of Surah Al-Kahf, which is a surah that is sunnah to recite on a Friday. And there are many lessons to be drawn from this beautiful surah. I want to spend five minutes explaining to you two of the aspects that we have recited in the first units of our Taraweeh prayer for this evening. Number one, the name of the surah is derived from a cave in which a certain group of youngsters went and they were running away from the adverse environment and society and the tyrant rulers and so on because they were unable to practice and fulfill and uphold their faith. So they decided to go to a place that would be safe for them where they would be able to practice their faith at least. And so they went into this cave, not realizing that Allah had a, an amazing plan, a plan that would later be mentioned thousands of years later to us. And we would learn a lesson from it that when they went in order to earn the mercy of Allah and they made a dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, grant them protection to have mercy on them and Allah granted them that protection and Allah Almighty had mercy on them. So you and I, when we ask Allah truly to have mercy on us, to protect us, to help us uplift and uphold the basics of our faith, Allah will grant that to you and I when and if we are genuine and sincere. At the same time, if these young boys could actually make their way to a cave that had hardly anything if you look at the comparison between that and the lives that they were leading, they left everything in order to be able to follow Allah's instruction. When they went there, they achieved that goodness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prolonged their sleep to beyond 300 years. The Quran speaks of 300 years and nine. There is an amazing connection between the lunar calendar and the solar calendar that every 300 years, there is nine years that you add on in order to get the disparity between the lunar and the solar. That having been said, look at how Allah Almighty restored them, blessed them, gave them goodness, mentioned them in revelation up to Qiyamah. May Allah Almighty grant us that goodness. The second story is that wherein those who were blessed by Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala forgot to relate that to Allah. Rather, they related it to themselves and their own in intellect and their own capacity. But Allah Almighty sent a friend to remind the man who continued to say, this is from me and look at what I have to say that if you connect this to Allah and you relate it to Allah and you realize no matter how intelligent you are and what type of intellect you think you have, you need to know that very intellect was given to you by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if you think you're sharp, you think you're intelligent and you think because of my own brain I have achieved, remember who gave you the brain in the first place. And this is why always when there is something good that you notice about yourself that Allah has blessed you with, it is important to relate it to Allah, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. And in that way, you will achieve lots of goodness and lots of barakah and blessings in what Allah has bestowed upon you.